Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smojo, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are gonna be talking about the mobs that are coming to Hytale. Hytale is gonna be introducing plenty and plenty of NPCs, and I'm pretty sure there's even more NPCs that we haven't even heard of. But the ones that we have heard of look pretty amazing we're talking about quebecs trolls saber tooth tigers gazelles chickens monsters little things in the fire cats pigeons snakes everything you could think of is probably going to be coming to hightail now having mobs in your game is one thing but having very diverse mobs is another hightail's mob mechanics are very very interesting if we were to compare this to minecraft the minecraft mob mechanics are just mobs in a game that are placed there they do have mechanics some of them have mechanics but they're very very simple and direct mechanics hightail takes it a step further and introduces new things to every single mob first thing i would like to note is mobs have diversity you have one type of mob but that one type of mob will branch off into multiple different types of that one mob for example the trolls which are formerly known as troiks or troiks i don't know how to pronounce it it's t-r-o-r-k-s troiks i'm assuming maybe troiks seem like a clan type mob or trolls as i called them earlier i'm assuming they're gonna have their own naturally generated structures like a castle or like a some type of fortress that they're gonna be controlling and there's gonna be plenty and plenty of mobs inside of this one uh one fortress now the thing that stood out about me to this mob is the fact that there's multiple types of the same mob we have the sentry we have the warrior we have the shaman we have the hunter who has a pet we'll get to that in a minute and then we have the chief captain right there i am assuming that each and every one of these mobs has a different unique ability i'm assuming the chief is going to be one chief you know because he's the chief probably the strongest one probably the one with the most health the most formidable one and the hardest one to kill you have the shaman which is probably going to be the healer and buffer of the group you have the warrior which is probably going to be the slow but hard hitting one of the group and then you have the sentry who is going to be the fast but but fast hitter of the group with low health now the hunter that is interesting the hunter is the only one out of them that has a pet no mob in minecraft has its own pet but this mob has a pet that is groundbreaking now i'm assuming the hunter is probably going to be a lone wolf one out of the group maybe he's going to be out there in the wilderness with his pet hunting things down because his name is hunter hunting these animals or whatnot for everyone else to eat when he comes back to his place i'm not sure i'm just excited that this man has his own pet and a wolf at that next we'll be talking about the quebecs now i believe the quebec is going to be in very idolized mob in hytale just how the creeper is a very idolized mob in minecraft i think this is going to be the creeper of hytale i can see already quebec seem to be very very diverse there's different colors of quebecs and it looks like they have their own families as well like look at this you got little baby quebecs that don't have legs you got you got the little baby over there to the left talking to his mom i'm assume uh he has legs so there's there's a different stages of development system when it comes to quebec i would also like to notice that they are living in a house now this house has a door and that door looks like about maybe one block tall like it's a really small door i'm not sure if we'll be able to go through it players or npcs maybe we'll have to break the door there i'm not sure but the fact that they have their own door to their own house and all the furniture in their house is specifically designed to them that doesn't happen in minecraft either it looks like a very diverse development system of minecraft and i love it i love the fact that they're doing mobs like this there's also a lot of passive and hostile animals in the world like gazelles and saber tooth tigers. I'm assuming they're also going to be acting as a group. Like for example, if you hit one saber tooth tiger, then all the saber tooth tigers in the area are going to come after you. Just like how zombie Pikmin's work in Minecraft, I'm assuming it's going to be the same way in Hytale. I'm not sure how the taming system is going to work, but if it's a very diverse taming system and the fact that you can tame almost every single animal or creature in Hytale, that will be absolutely phenomenal. We also have another example of diverse uh, growth system in Hytale with this chicken. As you can see, we have the chicken and then we got the baby chickens following the big chicken. I'm assuming that the big chicken is going to have babies following it wherever it goes, just like the mother hen. And... Uh, I read a little bit on the website that if you take a egg from the big chicken or the mother chicken, that she will peck you. That doesn't happen in Minecraft. You could take as many eggs as you want from any chickens. You can even kill their babies right next to them. They won't do anything. This is a very, very, very diverse and, 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 and 
awesome growth system, NPC system, mob system in Minecraft. In Hytale, excuse me, sorry. We also got some other pictures of mobs here. As you can see, there's a picture of this guy that's in a cave with a sword. Those mobs look absolutely frightening. The cave looks scary as well. I'm hoping there's some scare factor to the game. I know it's going to be like a, a Minecrafty like game that isn't supposed to care, scare people, but like it would be pretty cool if I'm just chilling in a cave and it's all dark. I can't really see much. There's torches lit, but they don't help that much. And then there's just, you know, jump scares of mobs just boom you know, out of nowhere. That would be pretty cool. We also have this picture of it looks like a very fiery place, maybe the nether. Uh, the nether of Hytale, you see like a little cat looking saber tooth on fire looking thing uh, that looks pretty, pretty hard to kill if I may say so myself. But yeah, the mob slash NPC system of Hytale looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to play the game. Hopefully you are excited for the game as well. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned a few new things, leave a sub, leave a comment down below what video you think I should do next. Leave a like. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.